Hi everyone, so welcome you all. So today we are going to talk about a new topic which is Apache Airflow and we will discuss more about it like the interview questions. So if you talk about Apache Airflow, then it's a ETL tool, it's open source, it's used for workflow management, it's highly scalable. And it have a enriched UI, like uh, its UI have so many features. We're going to talk about it. And it used as a job scheduler or orchestration tool, okay? So if interviewer will ask you like, uh, can you tell why you are using Apache Airflow or what is Apache Airflow? How are you using inside uh, your uh, architecture? Then you can say, yeah, Apache Airflow is open source ETL tool and uh, used for workflow management. It's a workflow orchestration tool. It resolves some issues like uh, maintaining the audit trail of every completed task is scalable in nature. It creates and maintain a relationship between tasks with very easiness and uh, it comes with a richness of UI which can track and monitor the execution of workflow and uh, many things it can do. Some of the features it provides like it helps in scheduling the jobs and uh, it will tell the historical status also related with jobs. It also help in like supporting execution through web UI, crude operation on DAG. Now, how can you use Apache Airflow as a solution? If this question will arise, then you can say, yeah, it will help us uh, in retrying in case if there is a failure, it help in monitoring, it have some dependencies, like data dependencies or execution dependencies. In that also it assist like in upstreaming the data or deploying all the changes, it help in that. It is scalable, like it centralized the scheduler and uh, it's deployment is easier you can deploy Apache Airflow like you can use it on AWS Azure any cloud service or on local locally also you can use it and then processing historical data is possible with Apache Airflow easily okay what are the tools where you can integrate the Airflow so there are many tools which with the you can use and uh, integrate the Airflow like uh, Apache Pig which is a big data tool um, it's on EMR again big data tool and uh, it's used for basically cluster computing on top of AWS it's a AWS service and Kubernetes it's orchestration tool again and uh, containerized management will be possible by using the Kubernetes See, there also you can use the Airflow and you can integrate Airflow with uh, S3 so you can work on uh, top of data you can play with it and you can use uh, AWS Glue also by use, uh, uh, like, uh, using that Airflow so you can integrate uh, easily with AWS Glue which is a ETL tool then you have big data tool uh, Hadoop um, I produce that also you can integrate with the airflow and you can schedule the jobs you can play with the data of Hadoop and uh, Azure Data Factory or Azure Data Lake it's a very like uh, helpful with uh, working on airflow so uh, like Microsoft uh, Amazon also provide uh, managed airflow solutions on top of uh, AWS and uh, Azure okay next question is uh, tell some like uh, commands of airflow then you can say like okay I'm using some commands like uh, airflow run airflow show DAG, uh, Airflow task, Airflow web server, uh, Airflow backfill. So basically these are the commands which is used for like uh, Apache Airflow and it have some significant meaning uh, that you should learn. So Airflow run is used for running a task. Airflow show DAG is used for like showcasing the task and their dependencies. It will display the DAGs. It, Airflow task is used for like debugging task again. It will give you all details about the task uh, uh, working and web server is used for like uh, initiating the GUI and uh, backfill is used for running a specific part of DAG. Okay, so you can provide the DAG ID and it will run a specific part of that tag and uh, you can use that command. Okay, now let's move to the next question. So that is, uh, uh, what is the Airflow DAG and uh, how to create it? So basically Airflow DAG is a very like a uh, famous tool nowadays and uh, many companies are using it and uh, if you specifically say like a uh, DAG full form is like directed uh, cyclic graph, it, it's a collection of all the tasks uh, which you want to run organized in a way like that will reflect uh, the dependencies and relationships of the task together. So DAG is defined as a Python script uh, which uh, represents the DAG's structure, task and their dependencies as a code. Okay. And uh, you can use the Airflow for uh, uh, like scheduling and orchestration of data pipelines or workflows. Orchestration of data pipelines refer to like sequencing, coordination, scheduling, and maintaining complex data pipelines from diverse sources that you can do with the uh, basically a tag. And uh, if you uh, go deep inside the tag, then you will see like uh, uh, basically you can create the tag by using like a two way, uh, like writing a Python code or testing the code. You, and uh, please subscribe and comment below if you need more questions related with Apache Airflow or any other service uh, related question you want. Then